So what is agricultural biotechnology? Agricultural biotechnology refers to the utilization of organisms and living system in the development of products for human use incorporating techniques such as genetic engineering, molecular diagnostics, tissue culture, and molecular markers. In agriculture, biotechnology is widely used to propagate desired features in order to improve productivity. This is accomplished by selective breeding which involves manipulating an organism's genome. Agricultural biotechnology boosts crops and animal growth, reduces pesticide use, and improves the nutritional content of produce despite the fact that it has negative impact on human health and the environment cited by SUMRO 2019. Agricultural biotechnology is a set of technologies that alter living organisms or part of living organisms in order to create or modify products, enhance plants or animals, or develop microorganisms for specific agricultural uses, including traditional breeding techniques. So modern biotechnology now includes the use of genetic engineering. So to improve crops and livestock that are not attainable with conventional breeding alone, agricultural biotechnology employs innovative scientific procedures based on our understanding of DNA. There are different practices and methods in agricultural biotechnology. So today, I will visit a farm and show you one of the most common methods of agricultural biotechnology, which is artificial insemination. So, let's go! I'm in Naturo Sarribatanga, so I'm with my friend, so introduce yourself. So, I am John Allen Keith Bigosos. I am from Rosario Batangas, and I'm also a student from Cavite State University in Indang, Cavite, taking the course of Bachelor of Agricultural Entrepreneurship. So today, I just wanted to welcome all of you in our small piggery farm. So today, Mr. Gosses will show us how to perform artificial insemination. So, mahalaga talaga ang kalinisan dito sa bago tayo magsimula ng artificial insemination. So, ang unang-unang sa lahat is kailangan natin ipasok yung catheter at kailangan mag-lock. So, ilalagyan natin yung 7. So, ayun po. Maraming salamat po kung kundihan sa artificial insemination. At yun po yung ginawa ko po para sa inyo at maipakita kung ano ba yung tapang gawin bago tayo magsagawa ng artificial insemination. The application of agricultural biotechnology. Biotechnology is being used to address problems in all areas of agriculture and agricultural production. Aside from traditional biotechnology, other applications are newer but also more established. For example, the improvement of plants and animals by selective breeding for particular traits or by genetic modification. A specific example for this is plant breeding to raise and stabilize the yields. It can also be used to improve the pest resistance of the crop and also to enhance the nutritional content of the food in the improvement of the nutritional value of the commodity. An example of this is the development of golden rice. It is genetically modified to produce beta carotene, a vitamin that isn't found in rice. And when metabolized by the body, beta carotene is converted into vitamin A, which is essential for its healthy skin immune system, and skin. Another application of biotechnology in agriculture is the development of low-post disease-free planting materials such as banana, cassava, and tomatoes. With the insertion of specific genes into plant genomes, scientists can change how a certain plant responds to pests, insects, and even hard climate. This is where gene editing for temperature-tolerant crops are included. Biotechnology may also be used to conserve natural resources. It enables animals to more effectively use nutrients present in feed and also decreases nutrient runoff into rivers and bays, and help meet the increasing world food and land demands. 
Researchers are at work to produce hardier crops that will flourish even at the harshest environments and that will require less fuel, labor, fertilizer, and even water, helping to decrease the pressures on land and wildlife habitats. The tools of agricultural biotechnology have been invaluable for researchers in helping to understand the basic biology of living organisms. There are many biotechnology techniques used by scientists and researchers in this discipline which include genetic engineering, mother-assisted selection, hybridization, plant tissue culture, biofertilizer technology, artificial insemination technology, plant and livestock disease diagnostics, as well as vaccine production. So, biotechnology helps to increase productivity and efficiency with the use of dimension techniques. Thus, most uses of these biotech tools have the potential to improve the livelihoods of people living in areas who are depending mainly on agriculture. The application of biotechnology in agriculture has resulted in benefits to farmers, producers, and even to the consumers. The primary goal of agricultural biotechnology is to address food security concerns while also reducing the industry's environmental impact. Nearly one in three people in the world, or approximately 2.37 billion, did not have the access to adequate food in 2020. That's an increase of almost 320 million of people in just one year. Various international institutions, such as the United Nations and the Food and Agriculture Organization, perceives biotechnology's usefulness for food security. Biotechnology is being employed to solve challenges across agricultural production and processing sector. Biotechnology is more than genetic engineering. Plant breeding is used to increase and maintain yields, improve tolerance to pests, diseases, and abiotic conditions like drought and cold, and improve food nutritional value. Biotechnologies around farmers to grow more food on less use of environmentally harmful farming inputs and practices. Agricultural biotechnology has the potential to advance crop productivity, production enhancement, and improve food security at global level. Biotech crops has important contribution on significantly reducing the release of greenhouse gas emissions from agricultural practices, mainly from less fuel use and additional soil carbon storage from reduced tillage. Agricultural biotechnology is important to both environmental and economic sustainability. Without a doubt, agricultural productivity and environmental protection can be, in fact, are very compatible. Agricultural biotechnology can help in every single level of the whole value chain, from farmers, consumers, as well as big producers. More than 13.3 million farmers around the world use biotechnology to increase yields, prevent damage from insects and pests, and reduce damage done on environment due to farming. At the moment, we already have the capacity of agriculture for the whole world to be fed, even in 2050. But to do it in a small sustainable level, it is a question. And biotechnology has a very important role in making agriculture more sustainable. Advantages of agricultural biotechnology Making use of biotechnology in the field of agriculture does not only allow for crops to grow more and under more difficult scenarios, but it can also make them much better. In other words, science enables us to introduce particular genes to increase the dietary worth of crops. So here are the 10 pros of agricultural biotechnology. Number one is to help increase the dietary worth of crops through genetic manipulation. Number two is to help solve starvation through better yields. Number three, efficient production means less waste. Number four, decrease in greenhouse gases as biotech reduces post-processing. Number five, allows us growing variety of crops in small land or small area. 
Number six, allows us mass production of important medicines. Number seven, it reduces transportation costs as countries can grow their own crops in their areas. Number eight, increase nutritional value of foods. Number nine, pressure produce and increase shelf life. Number 10, improvements in developing countries. What is more, fans of Agritech also believes that their technology can also reduce waste and optimize food available to us in grocery stores. But, given the numerous advantage of agriculture biotechnology, what is holding the farmers back from adapting these practices? Agricultural Biotechnology Corps First and foremost, there is a strong backlash against genetic manipulation. While we have been genetically customizing our crops and goods for ages, there is still skepticism about biotechnology's more invasive but more specialized approach. Another point worth mentioning is that this genetic engineering is so severe that we are essentially stealing genes from one creature and inserting them into a different organism. This would not have happened using traditional farming methods. And here are the 10 cons of agricultural biotechnology. Number 1. Genetic manipulation can have severe effects on environment in long term. Number 2. Can be used for wrong purposes. Number 3. Soil may become less fertile over time due to constant manipulations. Number 4. Less post-processing leads to local unemployment. Problems with high rates through cross pollination. 6. Health problems related to GMOs. Number 7. For countries relying solely on crop exports, this could lead to unemployment and poverty. Number 8. Antibiotic resistance. 9. Potential of super leaves. And number 10. Effect on non target species and insecticide resistance. From a human health point of view, scientists are worried that genetically modified food might create brand new allergens. This is why the United States' FDA policies for genetically modified food likewise consists of substantial allergen tests. In order for you to get an idea on what the current status of agricultural biotechnology is in the Philippines, here are some of the advancements and innovations in the field of agricultural biotechnology in the Philippines. On May 28, 2020, the country once again displayed its regional leadership by being the first Asian country to co-sponsor the International Statement on Agricultural Applications of Precision Biotechnology at the World Trade Organization. However, the processing of biosafety applications has been slowed as a result of a change in genetic engineering plant regulations enacted in Department of Agriculture Administrative Order No. 8 to the Joint Department Circular on ap April 15, 2016. Another advancement is a, a virtual webinar entitled Better Crops with Genome Editing. Applications, Potential, and Policies was held on 5th of August, 2021 by the Southeast Asian Regional Center for Graduate Study and Research in Agriculture, or CIRCA, in collaboration with the USDA Foreign Agricultural Service, the United States Embassy in Manila, and the International Service for the Acquisition of Agribiotech Applications. The knowledge sharing and learning activity held for members of the Philippines House of Representatives intends to educate members of Congress in order to improve the awareness of biotech crops and biosafety rules, particularly those pertaining to genome editing technology. The blended area of genetically engineered corn has increased from 10,769 hectares in 2003 to 834,617 hectares between March of 2019 and February of 2020, comprising the wet and dry seasons. The planting of GMAs in the Philippines grew by 26% this year compared to 2018-2019 demonstrating a greater acceptance and awareness of the benefits of biotechnology. On December 18, 2019, after a vigorous biosafety assessment, golden rice has been found to be as safe as conventional rice by the Philippine Department of Agriculture Bureau of Plant Industry. 
The biosafety permit addressed to the Department of Agriculture, Philippine Rice Institute and International Rice Research Institute or ERI features the approval of GR2E Golden Rice for direct use as food, feed, and for processing or in short, FFT. The Philippines became the first country in the world to license golden rice for commercial production on July 21, 2021 with the goal of reducing malnutrition. When it comes to scientific innovation, the Philippines have once again proved its dedication in adopting it as a weapon for achieving sustainable development goal 2-0-100. On September 13, 2021, Agriculture Secretary William Dorn led the opening of the Department of Agriculture's state-of-the-art Rabai Technology Center or CBC which would produce various plant products to help secure food security and improve Philippines agriculture's competitiveness. Secretary Dar said the facility which is housed in the Philippine Rice Institute or Phil Rice complex in the science city of Munoz, Nueva Ecija will also aid in the United Nations Sustainable Development Goal 2 on Zero Hunger.